Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. From wherever you're joining us from, welcome to again to Tea Time, a ministry of Membley Baptist Youth Church. As always, I'm Peter Munga. I'm honored to join you, to be with you guys again in this forum. And we are still in the series. What was our series? Life in the Spirit. Life in the Spirit. Mm-hmm. We're just checking if he's remembering. <laughs> so, Life in the Spirit. Yes. So, conti- continuing from last time, eh? mm-hmm. uh, I would like to ask the question, what really causes a person not to walk in the Spirit? All right. Uh, perhaps, as, as we think about that conversation, we are drawing from where we left off last week. And um, uh, we have been going through the discussion of life without the Spirit. How does life without the Spirit look like? Mm-hmm. And you might be there, you're wondering, well, mm, the things you mentioned last week, I have no idea that any one of them is in my life. So today, mm-hmm. we're going to mention a few more, and you can check whether they are part of your life. Mm-hmm. So before we go to that, let's just pray. Uh, Father, we pray that as we have this important conversation, you will be with us and guide us through it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So, um... I think we mentioned a few last week, and we said uh, sexual immorality. Yeah. We talked about idolatry Mm. as a key issue that uh, would make people find it hard to walk in the spirit. Um, Things like wastefulness, impurity, witchcraft Mm. also, and uh, hatred and discord. Now, let me start off with witchcraft because we didn't talk about it last Last time. time. Yeah. Now, um, Witchcraft is a key thing that um, is a counterfeit today. Mm. Sometimes people use witchcraft to cause things to be that may deceive other people that this is God at work. Yeah. There are people who perform false miracles using witchcraft. Mm. There are people who manipulate situations or false situations mm. to go a certain way with the aim of deceiving people that this is God at work. Mm. But actually, in essence, it's not God. Ah. And sometimes some of the popular people that are seen to do some of this crazy stuff mm. may deceive us into thinking that they are actually working under the Spirit of God. Kumbe, they are following what we call deceiving spirits mm. or working under those deceiving spirits. Mm. So witchcraft is when we use demonic powers to influence, manipulate, or create situations, mm. including gaining advantage of other people. Okay. So if you see someone doing that, then they are not walking in the f- uh, spirit. Mm. They are walking in the flesh. And that is an act of the flesh. Mm. Maybe the other thing to look at uh, for today now uh, mm. is jealousy. And I'll combine jealousy with envy mm-hmm. because they are kind of related. Yeah. And jealousy is when you have a bad feeling or you feel bad that someone else has something that you don't have mm. and you would really want to have it as well. Oh, so you want what someone else has. So you want what someone else has. And, and, if, huh? and you feel bad that they have it and you don't. Yes. Yeah. So, so there's that bad feeling. I'm sure you guys are familiar with jealousy. Eh? You know, when someone has a new dress and you're feeling like, oh, that should have been me who got it, you yeah. know. Or a guy has a new phone, you know. Majama na jua pandea phones, apondo munasumbuania, you know, and, and other stuff. Gadget. Gadgets and laptops and such things. Uh, gadget, laptops, and, uh, you know, uh, watches nowadays. Uh, wrist yeah. watches are a fashion statement. Mm. So someone, Amanda, may buy a phone. Ama may know a wrist watch. I'm on the latest laptop around, and you're feeling, mm, you know? Why don't I have it? Why don't I have it? And you go ahead to feel bad that they are in that advantage, and you don't have it. Covetousness is also something else related to that, mm. because now covetousness goes further to actually want to have not something like that. Mm but that particular one. That it's one. Do not covet, actually. It's written, do not covet. Do not Thou covet. shall not covet. Yes. <laughs> so when it says, do not covet your neighbor's wife, to covet is not just to desire to have something like that. Mm. 
or to have a wife like that one. You actually want that particular wife. Where? Someone else's wife. Yes. So it goes beyond just feeling envious and mm. jealousy, uh, jealous to being in a position where we want to take that particular person. If it's property, someone has a good car, you mm. want it. And not just a vehicle like it. You want that exactly. one. Exactly. Yoyake. Yoyake. Not even the ex exact model. Mm. That particular one that he has, that he is driving. Hmm. You and don't want a similar one? No, not a similar one. That one. So that's covetousness. Yeah. And it is dangerous. It is a key thing that we need not entertain. With human um, weakness, sometimes, of course, you are tempted to be jealous. Mm. It always starts as a temptation. Yeah. But if you allow it in your heart, in your mind, and you think a lot about it, mm. you actually fall into that temptation and you become jealous and covetous and mm. envious of your friends. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, back Kidogo, uh -huh. I, something just popped into my head. Eh? Yes. When you're talking about witchcraft, I was walking in town one day and then I saw some <laughs> wooden thing placed on a pole. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a pole. Eh? Uh -huh. On a pole. Uh, oh yeah, on, a, on an electric pole. And yes. It was written, Daktari wa Sijivi Tugani. Kutoka Mwanza. Kutoka Mwanza. Yeah, and then uh -huh. yeah, then hapo anandika hapo chini ati love potions some very funny funny stuff yes so now you're wondering what is this all about uh -huh. and then Jinyake and the number call uh -huh. uh, dr masur abu uh -huh. bakar you're yes. wondering what's not happening <laughs> what <laughs> no, is that maybe daktari kutoka kitui yeah uh, daktari kutoka sijui wapi tanzania <laughs> tanzania uh, you, okay well i think that is how bad things have gotten Mm -hmm. that witchcraft is now advertised on the streets. Ah. And someone is telling you, I can uh, bring back a lost mm. child, a lost husband, a lost wife. Yeah. I can uh, bring back, uh, you know, uh, I can give you success. I can mm. make your business do well. And one of the questions that uh, people are always asking, yeah. this guy who is claiming to have the ability to make your business do well, Mm -hmm. to make you uh, succeed in life eh? mm. like anata kupatia grades poa shule yeah why hasn't he used that same power to help himself that's a good question mm? if you can give me money yes why why are you advertising why are you advertising so you use the power to get your money to get the money and then solve this shady business yes because usually you don't get that kind of service for free yeah they will still mm. charge you so why are they asking for money mm. if they have the power to, to make get you rich? Yeah. See, then it should be free. They should be free. It should be free so that they advertise it uh, and uh, don't even have to advertise it. Mm. When it is free, people will come for it, yeah. you know. But it tells you how badly things have gone or how bad things have gotten mm. because now we are not ashamed to advertise witchcraft on the, streets. on the streets. Outright sin that would have been condemned. Kitambo, kitambo, ukipatikana we mchawi, ungepigwa mawe in biblical times. Uh, there are places you are burned. Wow. So in these days, actually, mse hata ameweka namba ya simu wapo. Simu wapo. Ndiyo mpigie. So it has kind of become sort of accepted. Eh? Yeah. Of course, not by everybody. Mm. But that's how bad it has gotten. It's just free. Yes. Like you can do it if you want. Yes. That's sad. Yeah, very sad. Yeah. So that's, that's among the things that, uh, you know, make us know a person who is walking in the flesh or mm. that is not walking in the spirit. Fits of rage, it's another issue. It's mm. now anger. It's anger, but now on a heightened level. Yeah. Kind of uncontrollable. Uh, that mm. is overriding your good judgment. Eh? Mm -mm. Someone gets so angry, uh, they are shaking up and they are not able to relax until they have done the wrong they had wanted to do. You mm, know? Yeah. Speaking of anger, uh -huh. uh, some people confuse between anger and temper. Yes. Do we, what's the difference? And um, is temper also a sin? Well, uh, anger in itself is not a sin. Mm -hmm. it, the problem is how long it lasts and what you do when you're angry. Mm -hmm. Explain. 
The Bible tells us, do not let the sun set on your anger. Anger is a normal emotion like pain. Mm. You feel it when something bad has been done to you. Mm -hmm. The same way if I hit you, you will feel pain. Yeah. So that emotion of pain is what enables you know that you have been hurt. Mm. So anger helps you know that you have been hurt by another person offending you. Mm -hmm. However, when you think about it, when you spend too much time on that anger, mm. God is not happy. Anger should not be something you live with. It's not something you hug and, you know, enjoy time with. You take it out for, for a <laughs> date. You know, you embrace it. You tell it, come, we go for coffee. No. Anger is something that is, is an alert. It's an alarm system. Mm. Now, when you notice the problem, you don't keep the alarm system on. You switch it off and start addressing them, the, the problem. problem. So if this person has done something wrong, then you want to take time either to cool down first mm. before you go responding to them because the moment you go in anger, you may do evil. Mm -hmm. You may put sin on top of the anger because the anger itself is not sin. Mm. But the moment that you act on it, mm -hmm. it can give you a uh, sin. Yeah. So temper is when uh, it's very fast. Eh? Mm. Uh, when the temperatures have gone high, so when you have a short temper, mm. it's very fast. Temper, you get angry very quickly. Temper, temperature. Yes. Okay. You see the temper, temperature. temperature. <laughs> <laughs> the emotional <laughs> the temperatures have gone very high mm. on the negative side. So uh, we use temper mm. to refer to anger. Yeah. We use short temper to refer to when you get angry very fast. And it's a short fuse. Eh? Mm. Ukikanyago tu kidogo hivi by mistake. Mm. Unatoka umegonga mtu. You know the way you might be walking. You know it's a crowded oh, place. Tempered. This person is short tempered. Very short tempered. So you're walking in a crowded place. It's bound to happen that mtu atakuguza hivi vibaya. Mm. Bila kujua accidentally. Of course oh, nowadays uh, people sometimes do it intentionally. But mm. normally mm. it's accidental. Ama mtu amekukanyaga kwa kidole. Naona unainuka and you like want to beat them up to slap them and call them all sorts of animal names you know yeah and before you know it everybody is looking at you and listening to you and wondering how you what has just happened this guy amekanyagwa tu ama ameguzwa tu you know mm. so anger temper rage is now a very heightened level of anger mm. that needs prayer that god may help us out of because when you have that fits of rage it can be very disastrous mm. for people around you and even for yourself yeah yeah that's how you find mtu amefanya kitu kikubwa amekasirika amefanya kitu kikubwa yenye hata yeye mwenyewe akishamaliza anashanga wa did i do that did I do this? yes why did i do it mm. yeah yeah actually someone said anger starts in folly but ends in repentance yes yeah because if you are normally uh, or if you are not as angry mm. you didn't have done that yeah. but because you are angry and you do not give time to think reflect and cool down mm. you will do stuff bad stuff yeah thank you karibu sana mm. so we also find another sign of uh, life without the spirit mm -hmm. selfish ambition yeah this, in my opinion, is obsession with personal gain mm. at the expense of the well-being of other people. Where I'm really keen on how I will benefit mm. in this whole matter. It doesn't matter what will happen to you. Mm. Provided I benefit. You don't care about the rest. I don't care about the rest. Selfish ambition. Yeah. So I will pursue my goals at the expense of anybody and anything. So it's not wrong to be ambition. To yeah. be ambitious. To be ambitious, yes. It's just wrong to have selfish ambition. Yes. When the ambition gets the tag selfish, mm. it means everything is about you. It doesn't matter who you'll have to step on, mm. whose head you have to step on, whose shoulder you'll have to step on. It doesn't matter whose job you'll have to, you know, uh, sacrifice. Yeah. So that you can get up there in you, the ladder. You'll do it anyway. You'll do it anyway. Hey. So if it means I'm going to sacrifice my friend, 
so that I can get that promotion. Mm. I'm going to, you know, uh, tell on a friend yeah. so that I can uh, get that, you know, token. I will do it. Because regardless the of the consequences. Yes. Because the most important person to me mm. is me. I've had that talk. <laughs> That's a sign of walking in the flesh. Yeah. A life without the spirit of God. Yeah. Uh, a life without the spirit of God also leads to things we call dissensions and factions. Division mm -hmm. and disagreements and separation into uh, interest parties or groups. Eh? Mm. So unapata kwa church kuna kikundi iko pale hivi hii inafanyaga mambo yao mm. wengine wako hapa hivi wengine wako pale yeah. you don't want to be together with others you want every time to do things by yourself no oh, and you always notice that a group is always there together yes they are together and they always work together but yeah. no don't include other people usually they, they don't want any other person in that clique it's like a circle yeah it's their own circle and it, you can have fellowships you can have small groups which is okay but when it becomes that um, you are causing the church to be divided into those because of the rumors you're spreading mm -hmm. that are wrong, they are evil, they are not true. Mm -hmm. You're spreading claims of things that you cannot prove about certain people in that church. Mm -hmm. So you're causing people to be segregated, eh? saying, oh, you learn any, you learn any. So you have spread r rumors about people and things. Bad mouthing. Bad mouthing. Mm -hmm. So that now the church is not able to be one. Or if it's not church, even family at home. Mm -hmm. So unapata kuna watu kwa family awasikiza nagi. Mm. Because so and so niye waga anachoma. Anachoma. Hapa hivi anaenda anaongeleshe. Unajua nani? Mm. Sister yetu venya na kuwaga. Eh, mudomo, mudomo. Na sasa hee pia ni mdomo. Mm. Then anaenda kwa mwingine na muambia, ha, brother nani? Ha. Ukimuona, hata siku hizi staki mambo yake. Tunaishi na ibahudu moja, lakini hata watu wangeleshani. So in one family you find conflict. Division. Division. A lot of it. And it's a resulting from one individual mm. who has that spirit of strife or spirit of discord that yeah. sets people fighting against each other, divided mm. and not able to interact peacefully. Mm. So that's another challenge of uh, uh, a life not having the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'll finish with the two which are interrelated. One is drunkenness and the other one is orgies. Mm. Now drunkenness of course is intoxication uh, with alcoholic drink. Yeah. Uh, the Bible is very negative about uh, alcohol. Mm -hmm. It's very negative about alcohol. It rarely looks at alcohol from a positive light. Rarely. The only instance that uh, wine is mentioned positively mm. is when Jesus was in that wedding in the Cana of Galilee mm. and uh, he turned water into wine. That's the only instance. It's yeah, that's one. Another one is when uh, this guy called Timothy is told by Paul for the sake of your stomach. I think he had stomach ulcers or something that yeah. was affecting his stomach. Then Paul told him, you can take a little for the sake of your stomach because it's unwell. And uh, most of these things that God has created have medicinal value. Eh? Yeah, yeah, they do. The same way you find there are some drugs that are in use that if you overuse, it is abuse. Mm. But if they are done by prescription, it's actually helpful to your health. Yes. So this advice was because he needed that to help his stomach. his stomach you know we use spirit to help our wounds eh? yes and spirit has alcohol oh. so it's okay you, you you see that relationship eh? yeah. so in this instance god is saying drunkenness is wrong but he also combines that with orgies orgies are ungodly parties that are characterized by drunkenness, sex, and other forms of immorality. Mm. So you hear guys have gone out, Mahali or Melala Uko, and they are doing all forms of ungodly stuff. Eh? Yeah. Sex being among the key thing, mm. and of course drugs and alcohol will be part of it because there are some things people can't do when they are normal yeah. and when they are sober. So they need intoxication 
and all those drugs to make them uh, fall into a stupor or just get to be a bit uh, out of the world mm. so that they can do the unimaginable things that they do in orgies. Yeah. So those are some of the things, and the Bible says, and the like. It continues to say, and the like. Not, so the list is not exhaustive. Mm. There are many other things. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's where I would wind it up. Mm. Oh, wow. Mm. Uh, mm. Well, I've learned a lot today. Yes. And coming back to a trait mm -hmm. of wisdom, yes. you have to really live in wisdom. Yes, a lot. And wisdom comes from God. Mm. And I think it's been said that... Um, <laughs> The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm. Yeah. Very true. Mm. So, to be in situations, you need to apply wis wisdom. You mm -hmm. need to ask God for wisdom. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very. There's a very, very huge lesson there. Yeah. Amen. Mm. So to sum it up, huh? mm -hmm. we have again the numbers will appear on your screen mm -hmm. for your buy goods. We have the till number. We have everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. the baby. Mm -hmm. And we'll also get to sing a song. Mm -hmm. We'd like to welcome you guys to join us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we know you know this song. Mm -hmm. We sang it. Yes, we, it's a, it's an amazing song. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So, Pastor Deno, mm, you can help me. Okay, we sang this song again last week, uh, but it has certain important truths that we are looking at in this uh, topic, particularly. Uh, we did part one last week, so we're doing part two. We did part two of that same topic. And so we, we are doing the same song, just to emphasize. And uh, because of time, we are not able to do the whole song, so we just do the first two verses. Please mm. join us and uh, feel free to sing along. Uh, along. Yes. In <coughs> Christ alone, my, my hope is found. Here is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When fears are stilled, when striving cease, my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand. In Christ alone, who to conflesh, Fullness of God in helpless babe. This gift of love and righteousness. Scorned by the ones he came to save. Till on that cross as Jesus died. The wrath of God was satisfied For every sin on him was laid Here in the death of Christ I live So, thank you, Pasi. Mm -hmm. It's been an inspirational service. Mm. We've learned a lot. Yeah. And we can close with our. All right. Uh, before we close, we can do the truth trait of the week. Yeah. And uh, our truth trait of the week uh, or the season is wisdom based on Proverbs 9 10, uh, which says, seeing and responding to life situations from God's frame of reference. Seeing and responding to life situations from God's frame of reference. So this week, practice to see and uh, respond to situations in your life according to how God would love you to do it. And we are noting that this is what is wisdom. The mm. opposite is doing that from your natural inclinations, just mm. following what your heart thinks, what your mind thinks. You know the way they say, follow your heart? Sometimes your heart may be wrong. So yeah. God is saying, instead of just following your heart, Follow the wisdom of his given directions in his word. Amen. Amen. Mm.
So you can close for us with the prayer. All right, let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for the wonderful time we've had sharing and getting to learn from one another. Mm. I pray that the truths we have learned about the flesh and its works will dissuade us from following that path and mm. call us to living in the spirit mm. and as we start this conversation of living in the spirit in the next coming week mm. i pray that lord you will speak to us yes, and i lord. pray that you will enthuse our hearts to walk in that very particular path for your glory and for your praise in jesus name amen, amen. and now may the lord bless you and keep you amen may the lord make his face shine upon you amen. and be gracious to you amen. may the lord lift his countenance upon you amen. and give you peace amen. in jesus name Amen. God bless you. God bless Enjoy you. your week.